The normal community Ironmen are fired up for good reason. They're one of the top teams in the state and are headed to the IHSA state playoffs. Hundreds of teams around the state found out their playoff destiny today, and that includes 22 right here in central Illinois. Let's check in on some of our top area teams. We'll start with normal community, the Ironmen, like many teams across the state, with a viewing party for tonight's playoff pairing show, and there were lots of smiles. The undefeated Big 12 champion Ironmen earned the number one overall seed in the state in Class 7A. Yes, the number one seed. The Ironmen just looked untouchable all season long on both offense and defense, and they're rewarded with a home game against Summit Argo next week. Congrats to the Ironmen. Meanwhile, the Middle Illini champion Washington Panthers and last year head coach Daryl Crouch are a two seed in Class 6A, a dominant season beating every conference opponent by at least three touchdowns, stifling defense electric offense led by Kaden McQuarey. The Panthers will host 5-4 and four Danville next week at Babcook Field. The Morton Potters finished the regular season a mighty impressive 8-1. and one. That earns them a two seed in Class 5A, where they'll match up with a tough Providence Catholic team. Also in 5A, Peoria High will have a home game. The Lions a five seed, but big bad Joliet Catholic is headed to the River City next week. Should be some fun matchups. A great year for two A teams in Central Illinois, and that includes the Bloomington Central yeah! Catholic Saints. The Saints are stoked to be a three seed in Class 2A after an undefeated regular season. They'll host Menden Unity next week with a potential second round matchup against Farmington. Another undefeated team, the Tri-Valley Vikings, last year state runners-up. This year a four seed in 2A, and they will host an all Heart of Illinois Conference matchup in the first round, taking on El Paso Gridley. Then there's a shot. The Vikings could see fellow state power Wilmington in the second round. In Class 1A, we've got a first round rival matchup coming. Undefeated 9-0 Stark County, a two-seed in Class 1A, set to host big-time rival Princeville next week. The Rebels beat the Princes 48-28 just a few weeks ago, but the playoffs are a different beast. That one's going to be a ton of fun.